Natural language processing, commonly known as NLP, is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on the interaction between computers and humans through natural language. The goal of NLP is to enable computers to understand, interpret, and generate human language in a way that's, well, more human, but also useful. Think about the way that you interact with your smartphone, virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa, or even chatbots on websites. These are all powered by NLP technologies that allow machines to process and respond to human language. So how does NLP work? Well, let's break it down. At its core, NLP involves several key steps. The first one is segmentation. This is a necessary first step which divides large amounts of text into sentences. Let's take this example. Seattle is a rainy city in the Pacific Northwest on the Puget Sound. It was established in 1851 and is home to the iconic landmark, the Space Needle. I'm particularly fond of Seattle because it's also my hometown. We might break this example into the following sentences. Seattle is a rainy city in the Pacific Northwest on the Puget Sound. It was established in 1851 and is home to the iconic landmark, the Space Needle. The next step is tokenization. It breaks down the text into even smaller units like words. Seattle is a rainy city and so forth. The next step is stemming or lemmatization. Both of these steps are text processing techniques that reduce words to their root form, but each works just a little differently. So stemming can be faster, but less accurate. And lemmatization is more accurate, but it can also be slower. So stemming removes suffixes to find the common root or stem, whereas lemmatization reduces words to their root form or lemma. So essentially, stemming chops off the last letters that are different, whereas lemmatization looks up the word in a dictionary to find its true root. So for example, Stemmin might take the words citadel, city, and cities, and reduce them to C-I-T. Whereas lemmatization would reduce the words to the lemma civitas, which is Latin for city. The next step is stop words. This understands the meaning and context of the text and determines the importance of each word. In English, some words appear more frequently than others, such as is, a, or the, and those words are filtered out to focus on important words. And next comes dependency parsing. This determines how the words in this sentence relates to each other to understand the syntactic structure. After that, is parts of speech or POS tagging, which tags words as verbs, adverbs, nouns, etc., to understand the grammatical role of each word. And the last is named entity recognition, which identifies and classifies entities like names, dates, and locations. These steps are all performed by various algorithms and models, which enable machines to process and understand language to give you a meaningful response to your question. It might even do actions such as turn off your smart lights or even have a conversation with you. NLP has a wide range of applications. For instance, virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa use NLP to understand and respond to your voice commands. Translation services like Google Translate convert text from one language to another, allowing for seamless communication across many different languages. Sentiment analysis is another powerful application used by companies to understand customer feedback and social media sentiment. And in content generation, NLP models can write articles, create summaries, and even generate creative stories. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the world of AI. We'll see you next time.